the latest images that we're getting to you from the Hyderabad House, where the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to receive the Russian President Vladimir Putin for the India-Russia summit, which is being hosted at the Hyderabad House in the national capital. The Russian leader is on his way to the summit venue. This will be the first in-person meeting between the two leaders after their meeting on the sidelines of the BRIC summit. The Russian president will be holding those discussions with the Indian Prime Minister with the emphasis being on defense, trade, several aspects of the strategic partnership overall. Also the emphasis that has been laid on terrorism as a common threat. There we have the images of the Indian Prime Minister at Hyderabad House waiting to receive the Russian President Vladimir Putin for the India-Russia summit. There we have the images of the two leaders shaking hands after the Indian Prime Minister received uh, the Russian leader upon his arrival in New Delhi and at the Hyderabad House, which is going to be hosting the India-Russia summit with a host of issues on the table, a firm handshake and embrace. This partnership uh, between uh, the two sides has uh, seen a very interesting uh, turns. Early in the day, like we have been establishing for you, the 2 plus 2 dialogue that was held, that lasted about two hours, that in itself uh, was an indication of uh, the wide-ranging issues that are on the table. As far as the talks now between the two leaders are concerned, we have been uh, reporting to you how uh, several bilateral agreements are on the table. As far as the issues and the areas are concerned, defense, trade, there's also the emphasis that has been laid, as we've been discussing, on uh, terrorism as a common threat. Now, this meeting coming at a very significant time, given the changes in the geopolitical situation over the last few months, the balancing act as far as uh, the relationship uh, with the U.S. is concerned is also something that uh, experts we've been speaking to have outlined as uh, will be an interesting aspect to watch out for. Given the significance and the timing of this meeting, which carries far-reaching implications, we've been talking about how this is a meeting that has been uh, watched closely, not just by uh, those in India and Russia, but specifically by those in the US and China, apart from different parts of the world as well. Uh, given the changes in the geopolitical situation and uh, the tricky balancing act as far as the relationship is concerned. The Russian president and Narendra Modi have met 14 times Uh, have met 19 times, beg your pardon, since 2014. That in itself is a huge uh, telling sign of uh, the significance of uh, the relationship between the two sides and how expectations are running high uh, given the host of issues on the table. <laughs> और भारत रशिया संबंधों का कितना महत्व है वो इससे साफ होता है और इसके लिए मैं आपका बहुत आभारी हूं ваше превосходительство мой дорогой друг президент российской федерации владимир владимирович путин приветствую вас теми для 21 ежегодного государственного саммита я также приветствую всех членов делегации российской федерации я знаю, что за последние практически два года это только ваш второй визит за рубежом. Это свидетельствует о вашей, о вашей личной приверженности нашим отношениям, несмотря на все сложности, связанные с пандемией. Вы посещаете Индию, это ваши любви, Кенти. Ковид и чиновники, которые бавлют, Харат и Русские, Самандоги, Рабдарме, Кой, 
बदलाव नहीं आया है हमारी स्पेशल एंड प्रिवलेज स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप निरंतर मजबूत होती गई है कोविड के खिलाफ लड़ाई में भी दोनों देशों के बीच बेहतरीन सहयोग रहा चाहे वैक्सीन ट्रायल्स और उत्पादन में हो मानवीय सहायता के लिए हो या एक दूसरे के नागरिकों की देश वापसी के लिए हो हमारे द्विपक्षीय संबंधों के लिए कई मायनों में महत्वपूर्ण है इस वर्ष नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन के ट्रीटी ऑफ पीस फ्रेंडशिप एंड कोऑपरेशन के पांच दशक और हमारी स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप के दो दशक पूरे हो रहे हैं इस विशेष वर्ष में आपके साथ फिर मिल पाना मेरे लिए हर्ष की बात है क्योंकि हमारी स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप में पिछले 20 वर्षों में जो उल्लेखनीय प्रगति हुई है उसके मुख्य सूत्रधार आप ही रहे हैं Ваше за все эти достижения в нашем стратегическом партнерстве за последние два лет стоит именно вы. Пишет мне до сих пор мы. Вейсвик старпор кай фундаментал бадла бай. Кай тарах ке геополитикал самитар упре. Кин тин сабхи вериблс ке бич хар рус митрата ек констант рахи. Дону дэйшо не на сирп ек дусре ке саат дисан ко са йог кия хай. एक दूसरे की सेंसिटिविटीज का भी विशेष ख्याल रखा है यह सचमुच इंटरस्टेट दोस्ती का एक यूनिक और विश्वस्त मॉडल है आज हमारे विदेश एवं रक्षा मंत्रियों के बीच टू प्लस टू डायलॉग की पहली बैठक हुई इससे हमारे व्यावहारिक सहयोग को बढ़ाने का एक नया मैकेनिज्म शुरू हुआ है अफगानिस्तान और दूसरे क्षेत्रीय विषयों पर भी हम निरंतर संपर्क में रहे ईस्टर्न इकोनॉमिक फोरम और दोबारी वस्तुओं समिट से शुरू हुई रीजनल पार्टनरशिप आज रशियन फारिस्ट और भारत के राज्यों के बीच वास्तविक सहयोग में बदल देगी Мы были в регулярном контакте по Афганистану и по ряду других вопросов. Наше межрегиональное партнерство, которое началось на Восточном экономическом форуме и на нашем с вами саммите в Востоке, сейчас превращается в конкретный сотрудничество между Российским Дальним Востоком и Штатами Индии. Арты и Четрами Би, Апне Листоко, Органист Манан Итли, Амин Лонг Тум Бижан Апнарахи. Амин 2025 Итак, 30 बिलियन डॉलर के ट्रेड और 50 बिलियन डॉलर के निवेश का लक्ष्य रखा है इन लक्ष्यों तक पहुंचने के लिए हमें अपनी बिजनेस कम्युनिटीज को गाइड करना चाहिए
Также в экономической сфере мы принимаем долгосрочное видение для определения наших отношений. Мы поставили цель увеличивать военный товарооборот до 30 миллиардов долларов к 2025 году и увеличить взаимные инвестиции до 50 миллиардов долларов. Для достижения этих целей мы должны ориентировать наше бизнес-сообщество. और को प्रोडक्शन से हमारा रक्षा सहयोग और मजबूत हो रहा है स्पेस और सिविल न्यूक्लियर क्षेत्रों में भी हमारा सहयोग आगे बढ़ रहा है Заключенные сегодня соглашения в разных сферах также нам э, помогут расширять наше сотрудничество. Наше оборонное сотрудничество укрепляется, укрепляется посредством совместной разработки и совместного производства в рамках нашей программы «Меги и «Дело вид». Также расширяется сотрудничество в сфере космоса и в сфере гражданской ядерной энергетики. इन दोनों मंचों में रूस की उपस्थिति का समर्थन करना हमारे लिए खुशी की बात थी अनेक क्षेत्रीय और वैश्विक मुद्दों पर भारत और रूस का एक जैसा मत है आज की बैठक में हमें इन पर चर्चा करने का अवसर मिलेगा Хочу поздравить Россию с получением статуса наблюдателя в движении неприсоединения и также статус партнера по диалогу в рамках Ассоциации стран бассейна Индийского океана. Мы были рады поддерживать присутствие России на этих площадках. У Индии России схожая позиция по многим региональным и глобальным вопросам. Сегодня наша встреча, у нас будет возможность объединяться мнениями по всем этим вопросам. Спасибо большое, уважаемый премьер-министр, дорогой друг, мы очень приятно быть снова в дружественной стране, в Индии. Prime Minister, dear friends, I'm so very happy to be able to travel here to visit the friendly country of India. Мы проводим саммиты на высшем уровне регулярно, каждый год, поочередно и в Индии, и в России. We're holding summits every year, taking turns in India and in Russia. К сожалению, в прошлом году мы пропустили из-за пандемии. Unfortunately, we had to skip last year because of the pandemic. Но все равно... Наша очередь приезжать в Индию, я благодарю вас за приглашение. Still, it is our turn to travel to India, so I'd like to thank you for your invitation. Мы относимся к Индии как к великой державе, с дружественным нам народом и с замечательной прикрытой историей наших отношений. We perceive India as a great power, a friendly nation and a time-tested friend. Отношения между нашими странами развиваются, устремлены в будущее. The relations between our countries are developing and are looking into the future. Если в прошлом году у нас наблюдался спад товарооборота на 17 лишним процентом, то процентов, то за первые 9 месяцев текущего года рост составил уже больше 38 процентов. Last year the trade has decreased by 17 percent. This year, in the first nine months of this year, we see an increase by 38 percent. И у нас, безусловно, есть все возможности достичь тех уровней товарооборота, о которых вы сказали. Это касается и инвестиционной деятельности. Сейчас 38 миллиардов примерно равно распределяется чуть больше инвестиций с российской стороны. Right now, um, the mutual investment stands at about 38 billion, with a bit more investments coming from the Russian side. Но мы действительно сотрудничаем, работаем в очень важных перспективных направлениях. We are truly cooperating and working on very important and promising matters. Это касается энергетики, это касается высоких технологий, включая космос. That 
applies to the energy sector and high tech, including space. И уверен, что здесь программы, о которых мы говорили, будут реализованы, в том числе и подготовка индийского космонавта. And I think that the programs that we will be discussing here today will be implemented fully, including the training of um, Indian spacemen cosmonauts. We also cooperate greatly in military and technical sphere like with no other country. I mean that we develop high technologies together as well as produce in India. We also have common important agenda that is of interest both to India and Russia and by that I mean environmental cooperation. We think about the green agenda and about the development of our economies. But naturally we proceed from the reality and the needs of our economies, that is to consistently increase the level of um, life for our citizens. We continue to, to cooperate jointly in global on global agenda and as you have said indeed our positions are quite similar or coincide. Naturally we are concerned about everything that has to do with terrorism. I mean the fight against terrorism, also fighting drug trafficking and organized crime. And with that regard, naturally we are concerned about the developments of the situation in Afghanistan. As we have our colleagues with us today, I mean foreign ministers and defense ministers after their inaugural meeting, that means that we continue to develop our cooperation on international agenda and in the military sphere. We hold joint military exercises. We hold joint military exercises both on the Indian and Russian territory. I'd like to thank you for your attention to this component of our cooperation. And we intend to work further on that matter. Once again, thank you very much for your invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. भारत और रूस के बीच इक्कीस The opening remarks delivered by the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Russian President Vladimir Putin as they begin their talks during the 21st annual India-Russia summit. Uh, those remarks in itself reflecting the many facets of the India-Russia relationship and the emphasis that the two sides attach to their partnership. To decode what the expectations are at this point, uh, with us from Moscow is a political analyst Dmitry Babich. 19 meets uh, since 2014 between uh, these two leaders. Uh, according to you, what is the messaging behind uh, the Russian president's uh, visit to India and what that tells us about the significance that Moscow attaches to this equation? Well, let me remind you that this is the first official visit of our president Vladimir Putin to a foreign country since the pandemic began almost two years ago. Okay, there was an occasional visit to Geneva specifically for a meeting with uh, President Biden, but uh, it was not a visit to Switzerland. And now we have a full-fledged official visit to India, and this is the first country 
that Putin decided to visit, uh, kind of uh, terminating his self-imposed seclusion. Uh, you know, this seclusion was imposed uh, on himself by the danger of COVID-19. I think this is very symbolic. And this means that India is one of the most important uh, foreign partners for Russia. That's why our president decided to visit it in person uh, and not to do it uh, by, uh, you know, uh, by using computers. So I, I think it's very important the military technical cooperation, uh, the agreement uh, on continuing that cooperation until 2030 is unprecedented. Let, let me tell you that Russia does not have such long-term uh, defense contracts with any country in the world including the rich Arab monarchies uh, in the Gulf. We don't, I mean, we trade with them, but we don't have such uh, extended and such deep-rooted cooperation as the one that we have with India. Uh, also, I was very glad to see that both uh, leaders of our countries are on very friendly terms. I think this is a good example for the whole world how uh, global leaders should talk to each other. Let me remind you of the hostility which we are now seeing uh, from the United States, from the European Union. Uh, in that sense, I think not only President Putin himself, but all of the Russian people are very happy to see such a warm welcome for our president in India. Right. Uh, given the uh, changing geopolitical equations, the India-Russia relationship uh, as of now stands at a very crucial juncture. Uh, what would Moscow hope to achieve through these talks? Well, Moscow attaches special importance uh, to the relationship with India because India is uh, the world's future leader. This is part of uh, Vladimir Putin's philosophy. Why do we have so much tension in the world? because the power, the economic power, the political power is going away from the West to the countries like India, to the countries like Russia. Uh, and it is very important for us to talk to each other, uh, to be in contact. Uh, well, of course, uh, during this conversation, as you noticed, our president tried to avoid uh, the divisive topics. He didn't talk about the relationship with China, he talked about terrorism, drug trafficking. Everyone understands that these are evils which both India and Russia need to fight together. Uh, uh, but this is for the public. Uh, I think in private, during the real negotiations, of course, the issue of Chinese, uh, uh, Chinese influence in South Asia and Russia's attitude to it, this issue will be raised. Of course, the issue of Afghanistan and the terrorist threat emanating from Afghanistan will be raised. But let me tell you, despite many, many requests from various international organizations, President Putin did not lift uh, the ban on Taliban in Russia. Taliban in Russia is officially proclaimed a terrorist organization. Whenever you mention it in the Russian media, you have to specify that this is a terrorist organization prohibited in Russia. I think this is very important for our Indian partners to know our attitude to Taliban. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.